fine fire combines a state-of-the-art BIM technology and an AutoCAD look-like and feel to help you to draw your project in networks faster and easier. In this tutorial video, we are going to learn how to draw a complete firefighting installation in just a few minutes. Let's open the architectural drawing. We have to separate the floors into different blocks and put them on the correct levels. First of all a new block it is created with the command W block. Select a specified point of the architectural drawing which is the same in every floor. After that select the entities that the block will contain. Save the block in the BLD project folder. The same procedure can be done for the other floors. Create a new project from file, new project. Give a name of your choice. It creates a BLD folder containing the drawing, but also all the necessary files of your study. In definition menu, building definition command, the levels of the project building are defined which means that you determine the level and the corresponding block of each building floor. Select level 1 and type its height below. Give a name to this level and select the relevant external reference from file. Then, press add up to define the next level. Follow the same procedure with the next level and in the end press OK to close the window. Let's explore the external references of our three-store commercial building. Create the firefighting spaces by using the command Autonet, create firefighting space. These are the spaces inside of which the sprinklers are placed. Type a name for the space, define a minimum density, and select the type of the hazard among the categories light, ordinary and high. The space can be defined either by points, by designing the internal outline of the space, or by polyline. Set the elevation where the sprinklers will be, for example 4 meters above the floor. Place the receptors through the Autonet Sprinklers Grid command automatically. Firstly, select the correct sprinkler type through the libraries. In this window, select from the library the type of the receptor and automatically the maximum area of coverage will be filled in. Insert the number of rows and columns as you wish the installation in this certain space to be and press accept. Repeat the same for all spaces. After receptors placement, let's set the elevation where the main pipes will be placed, for example 4.3 meters above the floor. You can draw any type of pipe network you wish, trees, loops, grids, etc., starting from Autonet, pipe for the horizontal pipes. 
with successive clicks on a plan view, you create your network. Repeat this procedure for all the building. From the definition menu, other function command you can choose if the pipes will be either vertical or horizontal to the sprinklers. After that, connect automatically the receptor with the horizontal network by AutoNet, connect receptors to existing pipe. Select the receptor, as told, in the command line, then the pipe, and it is connected. Select AutoNet, create area of coverage per sprinkler, in order to divide automatically the selected firefighting space and sprinkler coverage areas. The program checks if each sprinkler can cover its area and if it can, the coverage outlines are in green color. If it cannot, the outlines are in red color. Copy the network to other levels using the copy network to level command. Assign group to the receptors from AutoNet set group to receptors. Select one or more sprinklers of the drawing and type the number of the group on the command line. You may add more than one group to a sprinkler by using AutoNet add group to receptors. Draw the vertical pipe while you define the position and the lowest and the highest point of the pipe. Then, continue in designing the horizontal network in order to place the supply point by AutoNet supply point. The supply point is indicating the fire pump set of or installation 